Good morning, welcome to today's RC chat. Now, to be frankly honest, I've had to record this a second time because somebody mentioned no names, Matt, uh, forgot to enable the webcam on the recording, so I've got to do it again. On the bright side for you, does mean I'll probably do it quicker, and like I said yesterday, today's episode is going to be a shorter episode, and I've only got two topics for today, and the first one is can you see it yeah that's right i did the unboxing episode of the fms 540 we'll get to that one in a moment and the second topic for today is around the wombat and the team legit build series so number one look at the size of the box on that absolutely massive now i just want to for those of you which are new to the channel, is what actually happened is Gearbest got in touch and offered two models for me to review. And I was like, wow, absolutely. I like the look of the both of them. I like the look of the both of them. Uh, so I put both links in the video description, uh, in the Facebook group uh, and let you decide. And the clear winner was the FMS uh, Edge 540. So that's the one which Gearbest sent. Uh, and I'd also like to go down on record uh, that I actually really like the smaller one uh, because it would have been more practical, perhaps, to fly out the front here. But instead, you voted for the 540, and actually, I'm really did, I really am glad that you did vote for this one. And I'll tell you why. Yesterday, I did the unboxing video on that one, and it, it in real life, absolutely beautiful. Now. We, uh, obviously, I do need to go careful and not piss off gear best. Uh, but on the other hand, I, I try and do everything which I do from my own point of view. And my point of view is that if I had just paid 120 quid for that model, or the model which you can see on the screen, would I personally be happy or not? And I can tell you immediately, point blank, the Biggest box I've ever had deliver here and sorry gents. There is no way you're getting that one past your wife uh, Without her seeing it on the way in uh, or you building it. It is a very big model But the actual model itself extremely well built. Uh, I've got some photos in the Facebook group Yeah, look just look at the size of the box compared to my foot. It's absolutely bonkers uh, and there's the model there herself. The finish on it is absolutely fantastic. They even, and get this, they even put a rubberized glue all the way down the hinges themselves. So I'm sure you've seen other people uh, which have put hot glue. Andrew Newton, for example, runs hot glue uh, down his movable surfaces. There is no need to do that with this model. They've already been and done that for you uh, down each of the seams. Again, that's the kind of quality which you don't, well, I'm not used to seeing, to be frankly honest. Remember, my normal budget level was about 50 quid for models, with a few exceptions uh, in there, but normally on the cheaper models, we don't see that kind of uh, fault and planning behind these. And the actual build of this model is gonna go ridiculously quickly. I really do mean it. The tail fin, you stick, a, you stick the spar in, uh, you slot the two pieces in, you do up two little screws, connect the servo up, that's the tail done. Well, connect up two servos, that's the tail done. In short, really straightforward. Oh, and the rudder fin just glues on with a bit of CA. Uh, really straightforward. Like, anybody can do this build uh, for it. The wings, uh, yeah, Curiosity, they've got these little cages which you need to glue. The only bit, there's only two, sorry, three places where you need to glue. Uh, you need to glue the rudder fin on, which is dead simple. The holes are already cut for you. Just put a bit of CA on it, push it in, and just let it set. Personally, I'll probably stab a pin through just to make sure it stays in one place. Uh, and then you need to glue in the little boxes underneath. Now, I'm definitely not going to use hot glue to put those boxes in underneath. Uh, instead, I'll most likely use goop glue to weld them up underneath. And those little boxes, you wait till you see them. Uh, they are so well full tank. They've even got little, little little plastic lids which sit on down on top, and then the screw holes which hold the lid down. Uh, they've got these little bendy clippy over bits as well to stop the screws from rusting. Brilliant! I've just not seen that kind of thought process in a model before, and the finish on it is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the battery sits up here on the top. Uh, the electronics and uh, receiver in underneath. 
and there's another hold area underneath there. The motor is monstrous. Uh, it's something like a 760 kV motor uh, with a 13 by 5 prop. I do have the. Uh, I have actually been reading the, the actual manual for this one. Uh, and it's actually a good job that I did read it because uh, by the looks of it, the elevator is extremely touchy. Extremely touchy. They're only suggesting on low rates 11 millimeters up and down, which is not a lot. Uh, and then elevator 50 mil or 5 centimeters up and down for high rates. Uh, so this model is going to be pretty skits in the sky to say the least um and i know some of you have been saying about oh matt go and fpv etc etc uh but frankly honest i don't want to fpv it's just i don't want to put any velcro near this model in fact i am struggling trying to work out where i'm going to put a camera on this because i don't want to disrupt the paint because she does look so beautiful uh, just there on the desk uh, so what I'm kind of thinking in my head, what I will, will do is put a camera on each wing, maybe one camera pointing towards the nose and one pointing towards the tail and try and keep the use of Velcro down to a minimum because the fin finished paint job on this is uh, really, really nice. She does look, the dogs, you know what, it, it does look absolutely fantastic. So a straightforward build, a fantastic looking model happy days now what should you expect to rain this model uh, number one we've already had a preview because remember you voted for this model uh, and then we had a preview video of it so it's now here we will have an unboxing we will have a build episode and then we will go and have a maiden episode so we'll have a, like a minimum well we've already had one uh, we got three more episodes to come uh, on this model as a minimum and yeah absolutely fantastic and i genuinely do mean that and again i don't know i mentioned earlier we don't want to annoy uh gear best and there's other stuff which we can review in the future but generally honestly speaking that size box if i paid 120 quid for it and it turned up in that size box in that condition i would have been and just seeing the model in the flesh i would be a very happy camper really really nice model and you're going to see exactly what i mean very very shortly as well the bill, uh, sorry, the unboxing episode has already been edited. I did render it last night, but I ran into a couple of issues, so I've got to re-render it this morning. It is a five. It did turn out around about five gigabytes, so uh, it will be out in the Facebook group at least some point today. I don't know when it will go out in the future. Um, yeah, I, I haven't even thought about when I'm planning to actually publish that one live on YouTube. But if you're in the Facebook group, you will see the unboxing, uh, and you'll see quite a shocked map. Now on to the next topic, which is around the Team Legit wings. And I do need to pause to have a quick slap. The Team Legit wings. I've seen other people do big extended episodes for about an hour long where they do the whole build in an hour episode. That's nice, but to be honest, that's not for me. The approach which I'm going to be taking with the Team Legit wings is really straightforward. I'm going to turn each one of those wings into a series. And the reason why I'm going to turn them into a series is, frankly honest, it's a goddamn lot easier to edit them, okay? There are specific stop points in each build. It doesn't matter which wing it is or which model it is. Uh, they all have stop points. For example, gluing the wings together, that needs to be left overnight. There's nothing which I can do about that. So that is a perfect time to wrap up that episode uh, and then move on to maybe another model which I can then go and get to the same stage, for example. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I am going to be running multiple builds at the same time so that we can get a series coming out, uh, so, we, so we can get episodes coming out for these, so we end up building up the build series uh, over a period of time. That does seem like the best approach for me, and it does also seem the best approach considering that we've actually got four Team Legit wings here. Remember, we've got the FG36, which I bought, We've got the 48, which Team Legit sent for review. We've got the Wombat, which I also bought myself. And the guys over at Team Legit also chucked in a twin zoo at the same time. So uh, obviously for review. So we've got four Team Legit models here. Uh, that's quite a lot of build to be going on. Uh, and the, if I just did focused on one model, then the other three would like kind of suffer. So the way which I'm going to do it is that I'm going to try and get all four going at the same time. 
but but each of them will have their own plan if that makes sense they all need uh, they need specific steps to go through they will they and they will all differ for each of them uh, so the best way of you you getting involved with these builds as well is that if I make it into a series for each of them and then have a dedicated playlist on YouTube for each of them now talking of playlist one of the common things across uh, all the models was that I needed to do a tools required uh, episode and that's what I actually recorded yesterday uh, for the team legit builds uh, is that I did a tools required episode an episode which I can use in each of the four playlists so number one we'll have an introduction to the wing uh, number and then number two will then have the tools required because I'm again I'm assuming that you may not have come in on one of the other builds so if I turn it into a playlist I can reuse that episode uh, four times if that makes sense uh, and then we'll then scatter on down uh, in the playlist getting each wing or each model built so that's my plan of attack uh, for the Wombat, the 48, the FG36 and the Twinzu as well so to quickly recap Edge 540 unbelievable model the unboxing episode will be out on Facebook later today uh, and it will be on YouTube at some point in the very near future. I will put a link to the Gearbest page in the video description for you. Uh, and the Team Legit Wings, I'll put a link to each of those in the video description for you as well. If you have any questions about this Edge 540, please just ask. Uh, and by the way, if you've got any suggestions for the Team Legit build as well, uh, any of the wing builds, please do let me know. And on that note, I was doing my best to try and keep this one episode a lot shorter than the last couple of days. And the timer up there says 12 minutes and 14 seconds. So I'm going to wrap up now. If you are out flying today, have a fantastic day's flying. It's a bit 50-50 if I'm going to fly today. I do have the Mini Talon, which does need to get maidened. But to be frank and honest, I would actually um, appreciate some uh, extra pilot support for that maiden to have somebody around me, uh, well, specifically someone to lob it. Uh, so that may get put off uh, until the weather gets a little bit of a little bit more acceptable, and the weather just after Christmas does look really, really good. So on that note, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for joining me for today's RC Coffee Chat, and I shall see you again tomorrow. So for myself, Matt, cheerios.